I'm Chad Mills in Tampa, where a family is asking for justice after a tragic shooting on the 4th of July. A family hugs for a tearful prayer at a place that changed their lives forever. We just want justice. He was just a baby. It's here on the south side of the Courtney Campbell Causeway, where a 4th of July celebration turned into a nightmare and where seven-year-old Yitzin Torres Garcia was killed. In this vigil with Yitzin's heartbroken mom beside them, her family members made a plea for justice. We are in the news not to become famous. We are in the news because we want justice, because he was seven years old. Tampa police believes the shooting was between two groups of people. They say one group got upset at how the other was driving jet skis near swimming kids. The fight sparked a shooting between the two groups. Nearby, Yitzian's grandfather tried to shield him inside a truck, but the seven-year-old was killed by a stray bullet. That bullet injured the grandfather. No fácil. It's not easy from one moment to another to have somebody with you, and then when you open your eyes, he's not there anymore. More than 48 hours later, no arrests have been made, and as this family pleads for justice, it knows that someone out there knows something. Whoever have any video, any tips, Please help us. We are 2023. Everybody record everything. As for Yitzian, family members say he will be buried in Puerto Rico, where he's from. He'll be buried next to a grandmother who's already buried there. According to family members, Yitzian promised that grandmother he would always be her guardian angel. In Tampa, Chad Mills, ABC Action News.